I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I've been working on that will probably interest you. The first is I have uh, changed the waste valve on this. This is a foot valve for like a well pump. And so all I, here, I'll just stop it. All I did was I removed the spring right here that holds it shut. So now it can fall down. Did I get my phone? No, I didn't get my phone wet. Um, and this allows the water velocity, if you hold it down, you see that there's a lot of water shooting out. So that is a representative of the velocity of the water in there. And then when that shuts, all of that velocity of the water in there has to go somewhere. So it goes through the check valve and into the buffer tank. Uh, swing check valves, they don't let a whole lot of water flow through before they swing shut. And I'm working on more videos about this, um, kind of formulating in my mind. But a swing check valve can only do, like, in my situation, in my setup here, um, maybe 6 PSI. And this one is, well, 6 PSI with the output valve closed. But this one, with the output valve closed, it will keep going all the way up until it's pegged. You ever hear the term pegged? That's what that means, when the, the indicator goes all the way around to the point where it's pegged. So, another thing, there's, if you have a closed pressure chamber like this, that doesn't have a bladder, an air bladder, then the water that's in here will absorb the pressurized air. Uh, the same phenomenon as when CO2 is absorbed into your drink at the factory when they pressurize it. So pressurized water and air, the air will dissolve into the water. One way to resolve that is to constantly add a source of, sorry that reflection there is goofy, constantly add a source of air in there. And you can see the bubbles coming up. And the way I did that, <laughs> you guys will probably love this, this janky setup. I just shut the valve there. This is a grease zerk fitting that I have removed the spring from the inside. And then to prevent the ball from falling further in, I drilled and tapped and stuck the screw in there. So now the ball that's in the grease zerk cannot fall back into the system. So I'll turn it back on and you guys can see what that looks like. That moment when it's retracting in is uh, its due to the phenomenon when the water hammer hits, it bounces a little bit because water is a somewhat compressible material so it bounces back. Uh, plus there's some springiness in these pipes and connections so the water bounces back and momentarily creates a little bit of a, not vacuum, but lower pressure than ambient. And you can kind of see that when the valve here drops down, it doesn't have water constantly pushing up. You can see that there's a moment there when it just falls down against nothing. So this valve, this little air admittance valve, is called a snifter valve. S-N-I-F-T-E-R. Um, so that's just something cool that I've been trying out. And so the snifter valve will keep this tank here primed with air. Um, here is my static head indicator. So this is a literally something called a water level. It's just a, a hose that runs up into the tank up there. The, the top hose that you can see coming out up, come on, up there. Um, so this to the pump is about 50, 50 inches right now. Um, and then I'm pumping against, uh, you can see there's seven PSI of head resistance. 
and I'm getting this amount of flow here. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Uh, it's definitely working a lot better than the swing check valves are, that's for sure. I just need to work on a way to like make these last a very long time because these foot valves, you have brass sliding on brass, which wears them out quickly, uh, as far as I know. You know, I don't have any personal experience on that because I haven't been playing with this long enough, but apparently they wear out. So brass on brass is not good. Um, it'd be good to put some sort of bushing material in there or completely redesign this to be much longer lasting and adjustable downforce weight on it too. All right, so that's where we are on this. Uh, keep those comments rolling in. I like reading them. I do read every comment, even though I don't respond to every comment. Not every comment requires a response. All right, like, comment, subscribe, uh, Patreon, Amazon links, uh, eBay links. Check it all out in the description. Bye.